Gold Squad TV. What's up, y'all? Nice, beautiful spring day. Um, I figure I'd drop a video and talk about a different topic, man, because um, I might I might have touched on this topic in the past, but I didn't really go into it in depth. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real on the heels of my man Paul Pierce getting getting fired from ESPN. I'm reading a lot of comments. Reading a lot of comments about ESPN in general. You know, some of it political, which I really stay away from those those comments right there. Usually, there's a lot of people who are bad on on the right side or the left side when it comes to the ESPN and the way they kind of broadcast their network. I really don't look at sports that way. I'm a, I'm a sports head. I'm not here to talk about politics. Um, that said. I think there's a consensus that a lot of people don't like ESPN. I think it really doesn't matter because they're a business and they're going to continue to do what they do. But I would urge NBC to try to get those NBA rights. Because some of those NBA rights. The only reason why I say that, and I'm, I'm nobody to urge them. I mean, I'm just a regular person. But the reason why I say that is because ESPN does... ESPN has turned the NBA into a gossip league. It's turned football into a gossip league. Legitimately, now you could name about nine or ten shows on ESPN alone. They're really just gossipy BS. And a lot of people aren't, you know, some of the younger fans aren't even into sports anymore because they're just into more the the back behind the scenes stuff that people like to talk about. But we don't even talk about teams like Denver, for instance, is like third or second in the West. Phoenix is like second in the West, I believe. Um, I believe Utah's number one right now in the West. I understand those aren't big markets per se, but they deserve respect for what they do. When they shouldn't be told that they think the Lakers are going to win. It seems like ESPN's a Laker network. They want the Lakers to win no matter what. If a team beats the Lakers, they'll talk about the Lakers more than that team. The reason why I know this is that when UConn defeated Kentucky in the national championship in 2014, they didn't talk about UConn. They talked about Jim Calipari or John Calipari. John Calipari, excuse me. In Kentucky Wildcats. They don't really care about the sport as a whole. They only care about the gossipy shit they can get from it. It's become tabloid newspaper shit. That's why I, I tell people, especially as YouTubers, create your own lane, man. Talk about what you want to talk about. Have your own vision and your own views. I ain't got to agree with it. That's fine. It's not really for me. But if you don't want, if you don't care for these corporate entities telling you how you should watch sports, make your own lanes. Talk about sports the way you see it. That's my advice to you. There's really nothing else I could tell you. Um, I'm just a regular person, like everybody else. But if you don't like what you see in these big corporate sports channels that don't really serve your purpose anymore, then you got to go out your way to make your lane. If you're a Denver Nugget fan, go out there and make a channel dedicated to the Denver Nuggets. If you're a Phoenix Suns fan, like basketball fan, football fan, whatever, whatever you, whatever your um your cup of tea is. If you want sports to be heard your way, then you got to do it on your own. Go Squad TV. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you think what you think about ESPN. Do you think ESPN is played out at this point? Old Squad TV.